The very first analysis that is usually performed in any business is its revenue analysis. But if you are an accountant, you would agree with me that looking at the revenue without looking at corresponding gross profit margin and asset turnover is going to be quite meaningless. Now having separate charts of revenue, gross profit margin and asset turnover on your dashboard is not going to help a lot either. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you that how you can prepare such a beautiful chart in Excel, but the techniques that we are going to use, you can apply the same in Power BI as well. Now let us move to the screen, let us navigate to the screen where I will demonstrate you that how you can prepare such an amazing chart in Excel. Now to add this chart into this Excel file, the first thing that I need to do is to add in a pivot table. So I will go to the insert tab and click on pivot table and I will click on from data model. Now one thing I would like to explain here is in this particular case I am using the file where I have already done the data modeling and I have also calculated the DAX measures of sales, cross profit margin and asset turnover. In case you don't know how to do the data modeling and how to use how to calculate the DAX measures, you can watch this video here. The link is given in this description. So that is a complete uh, series of videos that you need to watch. So right now I will just focus on preparing the chart. I mean the dynamic chart. So here, first of all, let me bring in some values from the calendar table and I will bring in the date field and that will automatically create the hierarchy for me for years, quarters and months and days as well. After that, let me bring in the DAX measures that I need. So I need the sales revenue measure. I'll bring that in here. I also need the gross profit margin. So I'll bring that here as well. And after that, I will also need the asset turnover. So let me bring that as well. So asset turnover is this one. So now you have all of these measures appearing here in this pivot table but we need to see that in chart don't worry we are going to do that next and by the way if you want to see all of these values in quarters you can do that and if you want to see all of these in months you can do that as well but for now i will stick to this level of details where the sales cross profit margin and asset turnover are appearing at quarterly level once you have these values i will click on this pivot chart and we will simply select the column chart for now and click ok and now you can see you have this beautiful chart where you can see the sales uh, the chart says there is cross profit margin and asset turnover here as well but you can't see that right now and the reason for that is very simple these values of cross profit margin and asset turnover are in points where the axis that has been defined here on y-axis is in millions so definitely those small points cannot be reflected here don't worry we have a solution for that and for that we will go to design and click on change chart type here i will click on combo and what i need to do is i need to click on the secondary axis for gross profit margin and for asset turnover and once you do that you can see now you will have two axes and you will have your lines appearing here separately just small adjustments for gross profit margin i want to see the line rather than the clustered column and once you do that you can see you have these two very beautiful lines appearing here for the asset turnover i rather would use the area chart like this one but that is just my choice you can stick to the line chart that was appearing there before once i click ok i will have this nice chart appearing here on my dashboard so let us do some qualitative adjustments with the visual effect of this chart so that it appears nicely on our dashboard the first thing i don't want to see the grid lines on the backgrounds i will uncheck that Secondly, you can see that this legend here is taking a lot of space. So what I will do is I will say bring it on the top and once it is on the top, just click here to bring it in the corner. And secondly, I don't want to see all of these buttons appearing here. So I will right click here and I will say hide all field buttons on the chart and all the buttons have gone. 
Now after this, I don't want to see these axes as well, but this is going to be a little tricky to get rid of these axes. So please watch carefully. First of all here in the axis column, I don't want to see this primary horizontal axis. So I will just uncheck that. But for the vertical, if I just uncheck them, it is going to destroy the whole chart because you know, we have to keep both of these axes if you want to use uh, two separate axes, I mean two separate tables there. So what we will rather do is we will leave them as us, but we will play with them in a different way. Now to get rid of these axes, first of all, I will right click here and click on font. And the first thing we want to do is to re reduce the size of the font and secondly, let us also change the color to match the background color here which is white so that you know those small very small fonts are not appearing there either click ok and this should you know this should eliminate the whole uh, whole legend from there and after that let me also do the same for this one as well so right click click on font make the size very small and change the background color to white and click on ok and this way in two steps you have actually removed your background i mean the titles of your both of the axes so we can bring it to the corner now after that we can make small adjustments to these bars as well what we can do is First of all, I want to show these chart here and at the month level. So I will go back here and pivot table analyze and click on month and you can see this chart has now been updated to reflect all the data at monthly level. And after that, I want to edit this line. I want to change the color of this line and some other aspects of it. So I will right click here and I will say format data series. And in that data series, first of all, let me change the color this blue color to dark green color so what i want to say is that i want to reflect that this is something very good in our case so i will give it a green color to make sure you know kind of the user should have a feeling that this is all okay here so i'll click on also i will scroll down and click on this smoothen line so that it is giving a better feel so you can see that now you know this line is giving a much better feel as we look at it secondly you can also add markers to it so if you click here you can see we have the option of markers so if i just click on you know this uh, these options of the markers here we can click on built-in which is giving it this kind of feel and i can reduce the size of that i can also change the style from this uh, rectangular shape square shape to this dotted circle shape and you can definitely also play around and different uh, try different thing for example you can also change its color to a different one like red now you can see you have a different lines with markers and if you are not happy with this i can i just don't want to see these you know in in these markers i don't want to see these outlines so i will just click on for the outline i will click on no line so this is a little better now let us also play around for this asset turnover so i'll click here and i will say format data series so first of all let me make it a different fill here so i will say fill and this should be i would say pattern fill it will be better let us try this one this is looking okay or maybe this one as well and then let us also give it a different color so i will change the color of this asset turnover to red maybe because i want to highlight that this is something where my user should be looking at carefully i just want to use red color to get their attention that this is something where i want to highlight the problem but this is just my choice you can use your own style as well and after that you can scroll down to apply some other behaviors as well so you can say rounded corners that is something we can do and with all this you can see you have this beautiful chart which is not only showing the sales revenue but also the gross profit margin and the asset turnover so you can cross relate your revenue with these two aspects these two important financial matrices i hope that you have found this chart this video very useful